If you love cookie decorating, chances are you've bought a few or maybe a lot of tools and things to help you out. I love cookie baking and decorating equipment and my kitchen is packed with all sorts of tools and gadgets, but what do I think is best? What would I recommend to you? And maybe what's on my personal wish list? Let's take a look in today's video. One of my favorites that I would recommend in a heartbeat to anybody is a silicone working mat. Uh, I started using a silicone working mat, I don't know, maybe like a year or two into my cookie journey and it just, it was really nice. It started to really make sense. I wasn't having to clean off the countertop anymore. I could just like have this silicone mat to work on. And this one's really nice. I ended up getting this white one. It's a little bit transparent. Um, I actually have two, sometimes I'll double them up if I want, you know, if I'm taking pictures of cookies or something and I wanna have a really, uh, really light and bright background. But this is really nice. It sticks to the countertop. Uh, you can, you know, put it in the sink and wash it. You can, uh, it can take, and it can take a lot of beating up actually. I mean, you can uh, do a lot with it. So the silicone working mat, uh, I would say is a must have. I love the square one too. The square is really great. They come in other sizes. Uh, this is currently on my Amazon uh, shopping list. So you can check that out. And it's really reasonably priced as well. So I definitely recommend it. Another one of my favorites, if we're talking about silicone, the silicone spatula, this cute sprinkle spatula. Uh, I love these and I started using these from the very beginning when I was decorating cookies because spoons just did not cut it. I recommend, this is an eight inch silicone spatula and it's, it's pretty sturdy, um, really reasonably priced. These uh, sprinkles one, you can find these um, all over. Um, there's, there's a number of shops that will sell these. I think they're on Amazon as well. I got mine from uh, a, a, a favorite of mine, Happy Sweets and Treats. Um, she's got a lot of these bigger sizes too. They're awesome. Uh, I definitely recommend these for mixing up your icing and just having around in general for baking and having in your kitchen. Okay, let's talk stencils. I love stencils. I've been using them from the very beginning. You don't have to have an airbrush to use stencils. You can stencil with icing. Actually, this comes in really handy if you want to stencil icing onto your cookie. So. They're just really, they, they allow for some creativity and flexibility when you are decorating your cookies. And again, they can be used in a variety of ways. You can airbrush with them. You can use, you know, part of the stencil um, and just, just allows you to be a little bit more creative with your cookies, which I love. So I have a huge, I mean, this is just, this is just part of the library of stencils that I have, but you don't have to have a lot. I would say if you're starting out getting stencils and decorating with stencils, just start with basic patterns and then you can expand from there. If we're talking stencils. Then I have to show you my cookie silk screen. This was the first cookie silk screen that I got. It's actually called the cookie silk screen and Three Sweet Chicks sells this one. This is my favorite shape because my, uh, my stencil holder is an elongated one and they have multiple sizes. But the cookie silk screen, it was a game changer for me. I'm not gonna lie. I recommend this only after you've gotten comfortable with regular airbrushing. So cookie silk screen is gonna help you um, have a lot cleaner lines when you airbrush. But uh, I always recommend that you get comfortable with your airbrush. Do some of that without the cookie silk screen. And then when you start to apply this, it's gonna, oh my gosh, it's just gonna, it's gonna make you feel like the best airbrusher in the world and your cookies are gonna look amazing for it too. So the cookie silk screen is one of my favorites that I have in my kitchen, one of the best tools. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you wanna amaze your friends and family with amazing cookies that taste incredible, you're in the right place. This channel is where deliciousness meets joy and we are all about having fun with cookies here. I'll show you how to make cookies that look impressive but are also easy to do. So please do me a favor, like this video, please subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell, and share this with any of your friends and family who you think might wanna join you too. It really helps out a lot. So thank you again. Let's get back to the video. Brushes are my favorite. Brushes galore. I have a ton of brushes. Um, not only because I 
I was an art major in college and I just took to watercolors and painting and my kids love to do it too. But um, all of the brushes that I have that I use in my cookie kitchen are only used on cookies. Um, I don't use them on anything else. So my favorites though, uh, I have, I have a number of brushes for different techniques and things like this fan brush. You can create some really great texture with uh, some metal food paint. Um, I have basic sizes here. Uh, these are some short stubby brushes that are really great for, you know, flicking color onto cookies. And then I've got some fine point ones here. Let me show you. So these ones, I've got some really fine line brushes that are really great for details too. So brushes, I, I you know, have, have um, a bunch of different sizes and shapes in your cookie kitchen because it can be a go-to. You can use brushes for a lot of different things and make sure that you have some in your cookie kitchen. You're gonna, you're gonna thank me for it. Something that we must have. All cookiers must have these and they come in so many different styles and shapes and sizes. And I gotta show you my scribes. These are three of my very favorite cookie scribe tools. These are short ones. And look at this. This is my taco scribe. I love this little taco scribe. I've got my pink Halloween um, jack-o'-lantern scribe. Love, love this one. And then my cute little marshmallow guy. So my scribes, I like the short ones. Some people like the long ones. Uh, these fit a little bit better in my hand. And believe it or not, I have a number of scribes that are different gauges. So they're gonna be a different thickness of uh, like the pointy piece that you put into your cookie. These are my favorite designs. Um, and these all happen to be a little bit thicker. I have found it to be really efficient to have a number of sizes of scribes, and I'm not talking about the length, right? Like, doesn't matter if they're short or long, but I'm talking about the the gauge of metal. So like how wide the pointy piece is that goes into your cookie, if that makes sense. So make sure that you have maybe a thinner one and a thicker one, because sometimes those thinner ones can get into really small spaces that these thicker ones can't. So that's what I would recommend, but gotta have scribes on hand. I love these. Okay, so what's on my wish list? Stuff that I don't have that I wish I had in my cookie kitchen, which to be honest, I was thinking, okay, what do I wish? I actually have a wish list. I have a whole wish list that I keep on, on a note in my phone of anything, anything, well, cookie and non cookie related that I can think of. I'm like, ooh, that would be nice to have someday. I put it on a wish list and um, whenever it's time for my husband to buy a gift, then I give my wish list. But um, scribes, scribes are on my wish list, believe it or not. I have a lot of them, but there's so many cute designs that I just can't get enough. So um, scribes are always on my wish list. I also have found, uh, I tested out a new perforated baking mat. So normally I bake my cookies on parchment, but these new perforated baking mats are kind of cool and I want to fill my whole kitchen with them. I have a half rack and I think I could fit 20 sheets on there, 20 baking sheets at a time. So I would love to completely stock my baking cupboard with 20 of those perforated baking mats. Those are awesome. Uh, they actually can help your cookies bake a little more evenly, which is nice. And also mixers. So, oh my gosh, I could talk mixers all day long. But the mixer that is currently on my wish list is the Bosch mixer. Uh, I've got two KitchenAid mixers and I also have a Kenwood. It's a heavy duty Kenwood, it's a seven quart. But man, I have heard nothing but great things about the Bosch mixer and at some point I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna let you guys know how it goes. That's definitely on my wish list too. Okay, so these are some of my favorites, the things that I recommend and some of the things that I wish that I could have in my cookie kitchen. You'll have to let me know what's on your cookie supply wish list. Let me know in the comments below. I would love to know what you are dying to have in your cookie kitchen. Want to seriously improve your royal icing technique so you can decorate like a pro and have people gushing over your yummy, beautifully ice baked cookies? Look no further. I've created a simple, easy to use one page guide to help you improve and master your royal icing technique. All you have to do is click the link in the description below, enter your details, and I'll send my special practice sheet right to your inbox so you can get good at royal icing fast. Click the link right now.